Good morning and welcome to day number four of the Christmas Code. Uh, I want to remind you, uh, our church family here at Mount Beulah Baptist, we are going through this devotional book, The Christmas Code. I trust you are still engaging this journey with me. Um, I am Pastor Randy here at the church, um, recording in a different location here. I am standing outside uh, the pastor's study here at Mount Beulah Baptist. When I transitioned to this church, um, they told me this is the place where I would get to put my stuff. Uh, the parsonage has an office there as well, uh, but with four daughters, we converted that into a, a bedroom setting. And so this is, this is my place of study. This is my place where I get to come in and um, sort of hide at times. Uh, this is my place of prayer. This is my place of books. Uh, there are a few hundred books in the office. There's a computer that has a couple thousand resources of books um, that I have bought some computer software that I use to study with as well. And so I get asked sometimes, have you read all the books on your shelves? And um, I politely say I've read every title. Uh, but no, I haven't read every single word of every commentary. Um, some of those are definitely great resources as I uh, prepare sermons and study. And so I get to come to this study and um, notoriously, if I prepare a message, there are three to four to five books laid out all over my desk, um, including not only the Bible I used to preach from, but probably a couple other Bibles I pulled off the shelf that have um, notes and study guides and information and maybe different versions. With all that being said, uh, today's key word is that of books. Books. And I would encourage you uh, immediately to say, hey, the number one book in your life needs to be God's Word exclamation point. No, no questions about that. But the question I have for you today is, after God's Word, what is the next important book for you to have? Well, um, it's not the Christmas code, although this is the journey we're taking for the 25 days of Christmas. Um, it is a book called the Lamb's Book of Life. The key to that is having your name in that book. Years ago, I found that people wanted to borrow some of my books, and sometimes I didn't get them back. And so I went to Staples, and I bought a stamp that says from the library of Randy M. Stores. And I will stamp that in the front cover of the book, and I will turn to page 93 in every book, and I will stamp it there. So if you mark out my name in the front, you better read to at least page 93, and you'll be like, oh, wait a minute, this is... This is Pastor Randy's book. Am I going to keep stealing it or am I going to give it back to him? Your guilty conscience. Um, the, the truth of the matter is my name in a book does dictate ownership to me. But my name in the Lamb's book of life dictates God's ownership of me and my life for him. I want to encourage you. You can write your name in all the books in the world, but is your name written in the Lamb's book of life? I trust you know Jesus Christ as your Savior. Christmas code day four, key word, book. Is your name written in the Lamb's book of life? God bless you.